this person asked this question specifically for this chord, the G-sharp chord. But there are so many other chords that fall into the same category as this, and they all have the same solution. <laughs> Hi guys, Yuri here again, welcome to YB Plays Music. This is another tutorial on guitar. It has been a while, but this question came from somebody that gave a comment on one of my tutorials. And his question specifically was, can you play the G sharp chord without using a bar? Now what he means is that the G sharp chord, which is this one, can you play that without using a bar? And the bar in this case means that I'm using my index finger to put it over all the strings as some kind of replacement of the bridge in the beginning here. I'm going to answer that question in a moment, but meanwhile, you might notice that I have a brand new guitar, uh, which I've made one video on before, and this is by the brand Journey Instruments. I already had a guitar from them, but this is their first foldable electric guitar. So you can separate the arm from this body, which is awesome if you want to travel uh, and you want to take your guitar with you, that's just awesome. So guys, if you want to buy some of their products, there is a link in the description down below, an affiliate link that you can use. I highly recommend if you're a musician that loves to travel, then this is an awesome option for you to uh, keep it very compact when you travel uh, with your instrument with you. That said, guys, I'm going to answer this question. So, the G sharp chord, can you play it without using a bar? The short answer is yes. The long answer is yes, but. And there are a couple of different solutions, I would say. Now, the thing is, I can very easily remove the need for me to use this bar with my index finger by using a capo. That's the first solution. It's not the only, it's not the only, but that's one of the solutions that you can give. So if I place my capo on the fret that I use the bar on, then I just don't need to use my index finger and I just use the rest of the position. And that makes actually the position of the E chord, but just on the fourth fret here, which is still the G sharp chord, but it's just done by using a capo instead of my index finger. So it's actually a replacement. Now the next thing that you can do is not playing all the strings. That's an option as well. Though it's not really the most ideal solution because most of the times when you play a chord, the lowest note you play mostly will be the key. Not always, but most often it will be. So in this case, with the G sharp chord, my lowest note should most often be the G sharp, which is this, in this chord. So I want to keep that note. But if I, for example, only play the upper four strings, so the sixth, fifth, fourth, and third, like that, then I don't need to place my index finger as a bar, but I just need to push the upper string with my index finger. The downside of that though, is that I need to be aware not to play the lower two strings, because those are not pressed right now. So if I only play the upper four strings, that's okay. But if I play all the strings, then it doesn't sound right anymore. There is another solution even for this chord. I want to keep the G sharp as my lowest note, but that's not the only G sharp in this chord. Because on my pinky finger here, which is on the fourth string right now, that's also a G sharp. It's one octave higher, but it's still a G sharp. Right? So if I make that my lowest note and I just play the lowest four strings in that position, I can just use a mini bar with my index finger over two strings or I can use another position that I don't have to use a bar at all like this. This is also the G sharp chord and there are endless, endless possibilities actually to play this chord in different ways 
because you can make this chord with only three different notes and you can have endless options on the arm of your guitar to do that if you only need to play three strings. But most of the times, we prefer to play the most amount of strings in a chord possible so the sound is fuller. So like I said, there are multiple ways to play this chord without using a bar. The first method that I'm giving you is with a capo, even though that's probably not what this person uh, was hoping for as an answer, but I'm giving it you anyways, because the capo just replaces my index finger, which ultimately means that I don't need to place a bar myself. But then the other options are just by not playing all the strings. And most of the times you will still be able to play four strings. The downside of those options, and if you play three strings even more, is that you just cannot play all the strings. You just need to be careful not to play the wrong strings then. Which is why I mostly prefer to play this chord with a full bar. No matter what string I play here, it will fit in this chord. You get it? Now the thing is, this person asked this question specifically for this chord, the G-sharp chord. But there are so many other chords that fall into the same category as this. For example, we have the B chord. The B flat chord. We have the B minor, B flat minor. You can do the same with the G sharp, but instead the G sharp minor. The G flat and the G flat minor. You have so many different chords that are mostly played by using a bar, if you're not using capo at least, and they all have these same solutions. So you can play them all without using a bar, but it's not for everyone the most convenient. It depends on the situation. Most of the time I prefer playing them with a bar because the sound is fuller and because I don't need to worry to play the wrong strings. So I hope that answered your question. If you guys have any other questions for me regarding some of the tutorials that I've made before, then leave them in the comment section down below. Guys, I hope you learned something again today. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share the video. Also, don't forget to check out some of my other tutorials. I also have reaction videos and music videos for you guys to check out. So thank you very much and see you guys next time. Bye. Hi guys, Yuri Yuri. This is not a, but this and the bar in this. With, so I'm going to Esther. So I'm going to answer. But this is their first. So you can. Re, I highly recommend if you're. I highly. I highly rec. I highly. I. The answer. The. But the solutions that I'm will. But that's then I just done. So in this, the sad thing is though I need to be aware. That I is that the downside, but the she so, uh, guys, I hope.